The 1.0 layout level is a trend that became quite popular in 2.1. Levels like LF0 and EXO stand out by using crazy effects amongst the objects used. Etc takes this established gimmick and turns it on its head, using the trademark default blue background and blocks to make a design level of 2.1 standard. As mentioned, almost all of the block structures are composed entirely of default blocks you'd see in Stereo Madness, and has a colour scheme to match, being blue, black and white. With such limitations, variety needs to be realised in other areas. Dawnfall manages to achieve this pretty effectively, most notably in how varied the structuring is. With the vast majority of structures being purely default black, the only way to build something interesting is via how the structure is shaped and what objects are used. Dawnfall showcases wonderfully creative variety in the structures they made despite the limitations in place. Each section focuses on different shapes and supplementary objects to match the default blocks. Dawnfall's use of colours in this level is surprisingly really effective despite Bloom being the only real colour. Of course, the blue of the default background is present in some blocks, but Dawn complemented it by utilising multiple shades of blue throughout etc. Dark shades are used in solid spike structures, while standard structures are made more prominent with the use of bright glow. Swords and arrows in the air stand out effectively with a very bright defined light blue, whilst other air details have a lower opacity and intensity to them and help fill up the space and connect some structures together. The amount of variance with just one colour is incredible, and the overall great use of glow complements both the colours as well as the variety of objects chosen. When it comes to the gameplay, etc is incredibly dynamic with a variety of different game modes and ideas despite it being quite a bit imbalanced. Dawnfall said that it was balanced around Medium Demon, but I disagree. Sections like this wave and the mirror portal are awkward to wrap your head around at first, and the final 15% and these short black intermissions are easily jokeable due to their pretty restrictive timings. The first half of this level is really well balanced towards Medium Demon though, and the overall level is really enjoyable to play, so a hard demon rating is a lot more accurate to me. While there is a lot I like about this level, there are a few aspects of it that I feel would have been better left out to stay true to the Stereo Madness style. The aforementioned black intermissions and these glow lasers at the beginning stick out awkwardly to me and don't really add anything that the rest of the deco achieves. And while the movements do bring a bit of life to the overall level, I think it would have been best to keep the level static to match the 1.0 atmosphere. These are criticisms that would only improve a level that I already really really like however. Etc executes its gimmick great, and as a result it is by far my favourite 1.0 style level so far.